Mitch, I told you we don't have to talk about Monaco. Uh, we do. No, we don't. I mean, you being there and seeing Finn alive and reuniting with your daughter, that must have been incredibly amazing for you and Taylor. It was, um, it was intense. And we got swept up in it. Yeah, sure. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bold and the beautiful review. So does anyone else feel like on some level Brooke already knows that Ridge did something with Taylor and Monaco and that's why she keeps saying we don't have to talk about this? She's been with Ridge long enough to know who he is and I definitely think Especially with the picture of her and Deacon coming out, I definitely think that she feels that something happened there. So I'm very anxious to see what her reaction is going to be once he tells her the truth. And, and Taylor and I... You what? What? <laughs> it, was, it was just happiness and joy and... and, and <laughs> Taylor and I kissed... So Riz tries to explain to Brooke what happens, and I'll give it to him. He does seem a little remorseful this time. Usually he does his dirt and seems like he doesn't really care or feel any guilt about it. He tells Brooke that he and Taylor got caught up in the moment seeing Finn back alive and seeing Steffi happy after being depressed for so long, and they kiss. And of course, that was the cliffhanger for today. So you see Brooke's expression is kind of like, ugh. So I don't know. I don't know if she's going to give it to him tomorrow or she's going to say, you know, sometimes Brooke can be really understanding and maybe she'll say, I understand the circumstances. We shall see because we know if the shoe was on the other foot, Rich would not be understanding at all. You're in tremendous distress. When I think about the people that must have seen me down the wharf, disoriented, injured, confused, they all looked away. You didn't. I couldn't ignore my instincts. I had to help you. Now, I purposely cut this clip right here because I wanted to ask you your thoughts. Did anyone else think that she was about to walk up and kiss him when she went towards him? Like, I was like, it's too soon. I don't think Lee would be that forward. But the way she was looking, the way she headed towards him, it looked like she was going to kiss him. Drop in the comments and tell me, do you think the same thing? So, of course, in the rest of the clip played, I was like, why did they cut this like this to make us think she was about to go and kiss him? You saved my life and my son's. So they had a bit of a longer conversation today and got to know each other a little bit more. Lee let him know that her marriage with Jack is done because of the cheating and bringing Sheila into their lives and because of the lies of not telling her about Sheila, knowing what a danger she was. Bill also let it be known that he, he and Katie are done because she's not able to get over his past mistakes. They discuss how they are both fiercely protective of their families. And Bill says, I bet if we got to know each other, we probably would get along very well. So I'm like, mm, there's some chemistry there. We shall see what they do with these two. But I can definitely see her having like a little bit of a hero complex towards him because of the fact that he saved her. You see, she mentioned other people passing her by on the wharf, just laying there and no one helps her but Bill. So I can see how that can make her have feelings towards him but we shall see how this plays out well i would like to ask if douglas and i could move in with you you and douglas <laughs> i'd be thrilled so we've done it i mean that house feels a lot more like a home when there's family in it but uh, douglas is living with hope and liam so Thomas is definitely all in on taking Douglas back from Hope and he wants to move into the Forrester home so that Douglas can experience living there and being around family. Did anyone catch that Eric said Donna would be happy to have you there also? So they haven't shown this, but I guess Eric has already moved Donna in. I wonder if her painting is above the mantle yet. 
But Thomas talks a good game. He does sound like he is mature and ready to be a responsible father. But I'm torn on this because Hope and Brooke also made some good points when they were discussing how unstable he was in the past. Now, can people change? Absolutely. But let's not forget, it's not that long ago that he went along with Sheila's plan to hide the truth about the champagne bottle mystery that started the whole spiral into Stephanie and Finn getting shot. And let's not forget that when Douglas was born, remember Ridge was with Caroline at that time, and they actually lied and said it was his child because Ridge did not feel that Thomas was capable of taking care of a child. So I don't know. And since Hope actually did legally adopt Douglas, it's not going to be like, oh, just come on and pack your bags and take them back. I think they would have to go back to court. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on are you torn as well or are you clearly on one side or the other? So those were your major scenes that move the storyline forward today. We also had Steffi, of course, still campaigning for her father to come back to Taylor and to come back to the Forrester family. So they're, they're getting into this place where they're having her repeat the same dialogue over and over and over again. But drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts about today's episode. And as always, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.